Okay, what's going on with the sign of Scorpio? Scorpio. Scorpios are being quiet today. Ooh. Okay, so there is an offer here that was made that falls through. Somebody's making plans to get together and not showing up. And you're trying to get yourself unstuck from this situation. Some of you could be dealing with a father, a boss type individual, or an Aries. You may also be dealing with a Pisces. You may receive an apology here. And somebody wants to come in here and set things straight. And there's an invitation to a social event here and somebody's not showing up. There could be an ex-lover returning and this person's not telling you the truth. This person could be spreading white lies and this person gossips too much. And you don't have enough information. And this is causing conflict. <clears throat> so you need to balance out your emotions. There will be some new partnerships or contracts for you to sign. But you're going to have to make a decision. Because things are not moving forward. There could be a delay in taking a trip. So you're making a decision because things are not moving forward. And you have one foot in and one foot out of this situation because somebody's not telling you the truth. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius and a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn. But somebody's not telling you the truth here, so there's an opportunity that an opportunity that's being missed. This could be on camera, online, or over the phone. So I see you releasing some kind of burden. Because there's a delay in communication. I see you going back to school or studying more about a topic here. This could be happening online or at work. Because somebody here is emotionally unavailable. This person could be overindulgent in food, drink, or alcohol here. Could be online or at work. So somebody's making a decision. You're having a new awakening. You could be making a decision here concerning a contract or a partnership. Could be concerning a Gemini, but you have to make a choice between two. Some of you are deciding to change jobs or change locations because you're having some kind of new awakening. But you have to make a choice here.
And this is not over. But it's causing conflict. But I see you holding back here. And I see you celebrating with some of your friends and having some kind of fun. Because you're stressed out. So you are ready. You're making a wise choice. Could we go with a Virgo and a Gemini? See, so you getting gifts of money for your time and effort. And there's a new romantic opportunity here, <clears throat> but you're stressed out about this. So there's a passionate new beginning here, and this is stressing you out. This could be while you're having fun with friends. Somebody could be getting drunk and having sex. There is a passionate new beginning here. But somebody's going to have to make a choice between two. Because this is causing you to have an upset in your home environment here. And you're not doubting yourself anymore. Because this relationship is growing closer. And this is causing you to be very emotional. Because there's some kind of unfinished business here. Could be done with a Scorpio, a Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. So I see you waiting, but this person's being stubborn, they're non-committal to their work or their relationships, and I see you coming out of this depression, I see you having to have to balance out your mental and emotional considerations, you could be getting counseled on this. <clears throat> so you can come out of this depression yeah this is going to be a life changing experience <clears throat> some of you are going to have an unexpected bill and you're going to have to balance out your mental and emotional considerations because this person has ulterior motives and somebody's lying, cheating, or stealing. So you're getting counseled on this. And somebody from your past is going to be returning to your life here. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Scorpio, or a Libra. But you're giving it up. But you're giving up. Because somebody's not willing to step out of their comfort zone. And this is poor timing. So you're making a decision. Because this is causing confusion and anxiety. And you feel rejected. So I see you collaborating with somebody that is willing to put in the work here. Discussing some kind of plans. You could be getting gifts of money while you're collaborating with somebody here. But you're heartbroken about it. Because you're not making clear or objective decisions. And you're not paying attention to the red flags. 
It's causing you anxiety. Could be down with the Gemini. This person could be blaming you for this heartbreak. So I see you taking back control of your life and moving things forward. You could be traveling towards this person. This person could be traveling towards you. This is causing you to have anxiety because you're not making clear or objective decisions and you're heartbroken about this. And you're trying to heal from this. And you don't want to miss out on this opportunity here. Because you're deciding that it's not too much work. But somebody's ego is getting in the way. Could be some kind of obsession or addictions getting in the way. And somebody could be doing some kind of coaching or mentoring on this. You could be doing some kind of coaching <clears throat> for some kind of addictions. Or you could be coaching a Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with a star. A Cancer, Aquarius, Capricorn, and a Virgo. But I do see you getting mentored on this at home. Because the situation is toxic and the situation involves some kind of obsession. Yeah, you could definitely be getting mentored here by a Virgo. And somebody's not being kind or understanding about this situation. This person is non-committal to their work or their relationships. This is going to happen on a sunny day. Some of you are going to be getting dressed up. Getting out of the house. Because somebody's not being kind or understanding about this situation. You could be dealing with a Leo. But I see you getting dressed up, getting out of the house. Because your emotional and material needs are not being met. Some of you had a loss of property. And your emotional and material needs are not being met because somebody's emotionally unavailable. And somebody here is only doing charity work for their own selfish needs. This person is not willing to buckle down and get things done. This person is not willing to honor their commitments. So you're moving forward victoriously. Some of you are in the public eye. You're in the spotlight and you get a lot of attention. But you're moving forward victoriously here and... You're in the spotlight, and there's a new person that stirs up your romantic feelings. Some of you are in the spotlight or the public eye. You get a lot of attention. You're going to hear news of the birth of a baby. But there is. Someone also may get a new home. But there is a new person that stirs up your romantic feelings and you want to come back around from being left out in the cold here. So I see you traveling to someone's home. Because you're unhappy in this family or this relationship. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus, a mother, or this could be you. Yeah, this is somebody that you're in a marriage or a commitment with. This is somebody that's part of your spiritual tribe, your like-minded friends, your community. Could be dealing with a Taurus. And you have the same values as this person. You have faith in this, but you're hiding your true feelings. So you're waiting on the arrival of someone. But you're hiding that you're unhappy. Are you hiding that you want a commitment? So you're waiting for your ships to come in here because you're not sticking around. And you're keeping it to yourself. 
that you're not sticking around, that you're waiting on the arrival of someone, and that you're hiding your true feelings, that you're traveling to this person's home, and that you want a commitment. <clears throat> you could be dealing with someone with the initials B or J. Could be dealing with a psychic, a high priestess. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But you're not sticking around. You're keeping it to yourself. I see you successfully completing a project in your home environment here. And this is wish fulfillment for you. And I see you taking action. You have a lot of passion. But you feel overwhelmed. Could be dealing with an Aries. Yeah, you feel overwhelmed because you feel irritated. Somebody's not speaking to you. And somebody's turning their back on this. Because you feel overwhelmed. You could be down with a Sagittarius or a Leo. But I see you're feeling confident. You're feeling attractive. So I see you taking action. And somebody's going to come rushing in here. Because you're pissed off. And then I see somebody following in right after. Oh, Lord. <laughs> wow. Okay, so somebody's going to come rushing in with some news. This person's pissed off. And this person has a lot of passion. And it looks like these two people are coming in here at the same time. There's two knights in the middle of this. I don't know what's going on in this, but that's a lot of action, a lot of passion, a lot of heat. But you're at a crossroads here because you're pissed off. This person's adorable. This person has a lot of passion, but there's a delay in messages or communication. This could be causing you to have a lack of abundance, and this situation is over. Because you let your walls down here, and you feel hurt, you feel betrayed, and you feel stabbed in the back. So you're going to come back around from taking this break that you were on. But you don't want to walk away from this situation. Okay, Scorpio. I think that was the weirdest reading I have ever done. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay, Scorpio. You're going to be getting some kind of unexpected income. I don't know what kind of hard work you've been doing, Scorpio. But it looks like a lot of nights of hard work. <laughs> a lot of nights of hard work. Okay, I'm sorry. But you're going to be getting some kind of unexpected income. I don't know what for, but that's a lot of people there. And somebody's concerned about a courtship. Okay, then now it's making sense at a house. And this is coming up. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Wow. And somebody's very concerned about this courtship. Yikes. At this house. I hope somebody's not getting unexpected income because they're courting someone at a house. I mean, that's what it looks like. Okay. Okay, Scorpio. You're going to have to learn how to forgive. Because big happy changes are coming. With that reading, you're going to have to ask angels. <laughs> ask your angels because the answer is no. Oh, my God. And whatever is going down, Scorpio, it's happening in perfect timing. But you have to believe that the timing's right. Good luck. <laughs>